This video will cover the vulnerability priority rating in Tenable SC. This will be referred to as VPR. The goal of this video is to understand, filter, and identify the VPR of discovered vulnerabilities. In short, VPR is part of a larger process called predictive prioritization. Predictive prioritization aims to predict what vulnerabilities matter the most by combining threat intelligence and machine learning algorithms to identify vulnerabilities likely to be exploited in the near future and assigns a rating called the VPR. Here you can see we've navigated to the vulnerability section of Tenable SC. To the right, you can see a column labeled VPR. You may notice that some critical vulnerabilities have a VPR lower than you may expect. This is due to the algorithm determining that these vulnerabilities are less likely to be exploited by attackers. Keep in mind, however, that less likely does not mean that you should ignore them. VPR, rather, provides a means of prioritization. Let's create a filter for a VPR between 8 and 10. Next, sort the severity by ascending. Here you can see some medium severity vulnerabilities which have a relatively high VPR. Typically, fixing high or critical severity vulnerabilities is a higher priority. However, many of these medium severity vulnerabilities have a VPR similar to high and critical vulnerabilities. You can combine this filter with an asset filter to narrow the results to a particular set of assets such as Windows hosts. To filter further, you can narrow it to specific exposed ports, such as 3389 for RDP. For more information and technical white papers, please see the Predictive Prioritization section of Tenable's website.